Hi guys, Paul Pluto, Paul Pluto channel. Don't forget guys, like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends about my channel. Today I'm doing paid reviews because man cannot live on Google Ads. I depend on paid reviews to keep me full time on YouTube. I also depend on Patreon. Patreon lets you sponsor me for as little as a dollar a month. And I give you secret naughty videos. Yes. Right. Uh, here we go. We've got a paid review that's come in. Dear Archie. Archibald H. Chesterfield III Esquire. Brisbane, Australia. Dear Archie. <clears throat> I have been a subscriber of your YouTube channel for the past year or so and comment on it regularly. Under the Monkia Eldorado. Which is not my real name since revealing it would result in my immediate loss of livelihood due to... My bastard boss also being a fan of yours and likely firing me where he discovers that I participate in your online horological debates during business hours. It sucks working for the man, Pontiff, as you know. But enough about that. Let's talk about you and watches. To prove that I will work with you and not against you, please be informed of my $50 US PayPal contribution to your account. Of course, man does not live by Google Ads alone, and you must stay well stocked in 30 year old scotch and other account remits, account, account remits, account remits <clears throat> of a high end decadent Western lifestyle. A need that I am all too happy to enable in exchange for a bit of commentary from you. So here's the deal. Unfortunately, not knowing any better and for a lack of any real understanding of true horology, I have over the past few years acquired quite a collection of shitters. I had always justified their acquisition, always purchased on the second hand market on the pretext that while they may indeed be shitters, they are either classics or shitter genre or are limited or discontinued models from small volume shitter manufacturers which are commonly termed micro-band watches, although you might call them micro-shitters. I've attached photos of my most prized pieces for you to inspect, explode, and share with your audience. What I ask is this. As you review and pontificate on my special shitters, you must accompany your comments with the consumption of as many Tim Tams as you might be able to enjoy up to the maximum of one box, Archie. We don't want you to set a bad example. And a bottle of your favourite Australian brew, Victoria Bitter, VB. I trust that the 50 US you, I sent you will suffice to cover the cost of a box of Tim Tams and a VB from your local Woolies with plenty left over to help pay your latest Telstra bill or whatever else it is that you might fancy. So here's looking forward to seeing you on YouTube exploding on my shitters while drinking the Frosty, VB, and chowing down on the Tim Tams. Enjoy. Respectfully yours, Eldorado, Seattle, Washington. P.S. My five-year plan is to completely divest myself of all shitters and then slowly acquire the following. Following four. <coughs> An Amiga Speedmaster, manual wind. A Rolex Submariner, no date. A Brightling Navy Timer and a Zenith El Primo Classic Car Chronograph. It's going to hurt, but nothing good ever comes easily, A eh, Arch. Okay, number one, we've got, and he's done this in such a beautiful way. Look at this here, how he's done it. Number one, Seiko Bullhead 6138 Chronograph, circa 1973. I purchased this watch for 350 US dollars from a jeweler in a small Wisconsin town through which I was driving a few years back. It came with the original steel bracelet, but I prefer it on a leather band. The chronometer function works perfectly, and it only gains about 7 minutes per 24 hours. <laughs> the dial and crystal are pristine, with only a little patina on the hands. One of my favourite vintage shitters. I will miss it when it's gone. <clears throat> it's called the bull's head, because of where you press the little buttons there. So, uh, yes, he's... What do I think of the Seiko bull head? Not my cup of tea. It's not something I would really get excited about. That I know Seiko collectors love the bullhead. They really do love them. They are they are quite collectible. But 
not really my cup of tea there. Next piece is an Orsa C Angler. Now this uses an ETA 2824-2 movement, uh, 45 mil case with a 300 meter depth rating. Only 50 with this original dial were produced and the company is now defunct. I bought it used for 325 US dollars two years ago and it's my main sports watch. I've been diving in Hawaii and kayaking in Puget Sound. Accurate to about 5 seconds per 24 hours. Truly indestructible shitter. Let's have a look at that there. Yes! I must admit, he's got some fantastic photos. But they're still shitters. He's got artistic, gorgeous photos. But they are shitters. Shitters, shitters, shitters. I'm sorry. What can I say? His next piece he's got here is a made in New Zealand. Out of production, Swiss STP 1-11 automatic movement, 44 mil case with helium relief valve. The blue dial looks better in person, accurate to within 5 seconds in 24 hours. I paid 415 used Kiwi chocolate donut shitter. I'm sorry, I, 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 I tend to agree. It is a shitter, shitter. Another classic shitter from the Vulnerable SKX line. A poor man submariner with a slightly wilder 42mm diameter case. I found this one at an outdoor swap meet, aka flea market, in Tacoma, WA, and, the, and paid the guy 90 bucks for it with its original black rubber strap. I wear it on a soft brown half calf leather strap now. It keeps good time, gaining about 8 seconds a day quite a reason I must say that's you know for a Seiko shitters I I don't hate the SKX line <clears throat> next one I love the outdoors I love the colors lots of colors 45 mil wide cushion case rotating in a bezel an ostrich skin strap and it's got a plexiglass crystal just like the man on the moon Actually, this watch keeps the best time of any automatic I own, which is less than two seconds lost per day. Amazing for $220. Bought watch I bought from an eBay merchant in Thailand. Vintage shitter. It's a it's an Orient. Yeah, still a shitter. Shitter is shitter does, sir. And then finally, we got a Victorian ox. Army Dive Master Chronograph 500. What's the only thing worse than a shitter? A quartz shitter. Yes. Yet this is one. This is the truly. This is the only true Swiss timepiece I own. Chronometer, 500 meters. Sapphire crystal. I paid 450 US used, and now they're selling new for over a thousand. If you can figure that out, and. Uh, I must say there, yes, it's interesting. I love the way you've taken great photos. You are going to be a fantastic wristwatch collector once you finally get rid of these fucking shitters. Get rid of these fucking shitters. Um, I mean, I must admit, in all honesty, that the bull head is cool. The bull head is cool. The Seiko bull head is cool. That is, that is, that is a, a cool sort of watch there. Uh, but as for the other ones there, I'm sorry to say, the Orsa, that's a shitter, the New Zealand Magaret, shitter, the SKX, yeah, probably the two, the two Seikos are probably the most decent out of that horrid lot. I like the photos you've taken, you've, uh, taken some, the Orient, I always hated that brand, Orient. And uh, the Victorian Ox. But uh, you're going to fit in really well once you, um, once you do get some decent pieces. You've got great photo skills. You're going to be great. You're going to be on the forums. You'll be spruking around like a peacock. 
It's gonna be great, as they say at Amway. It's gonna, it's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be really good. So, um, thank you so much for being a loyal fan. I do appreciate it. The biscuits were given to that bitch I went and saw in Malaysia. Bitch took all my biscuits. Um, and BB, trying to stay off the beer. Have you seen how much I weigh lately? I think I'm putting it on, big boy. i got to watch what I do. Thank you so much for the paid review. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Okay.